Inner work is a powerful framework for those who are just beginning the spiritual path. It helps us to untangle all of the knots and the contractions and the blockages within us. Um, and we're big proponents of it. We write about it on Lone Wolf all the time and mention it in the rest of our work as well. Mm, yeah. yeah. However, there's, uh, there's a point uh, where if you've decluttered enough of the inner baggage that you can live in a relatively healthy way uh, on the mm. rest of your personal journeys. You can function in a more balanced uh, way without reacting and responding to your usual uh, traumas, wounds, beliefs, all these aspects mm. within you. At this point, when we're relating to ourselves and other people fairly well and we're fairly balanced, uh, inner work can start becoming a compartmentalized practice uh, that we use to uh, reinforce this desire to fix something about ourselves. Uh, and therefore, we tend to fall into this self improvement rabbit hole. Mm. Another limitation that we can encounter when doing inner work is that we sometimes end up intellectualizing some of our discoveries, some of our uh, findings, you know, internal explorations. When you discover them, when you f get to know them, the, the, that moment feels so important and so powerful that it can almost become addictive. You can start searching for those types of moments of discovery over and over again. Uh, but unless you actually implement some change, unless you do something about it, uh, it's very easy to get lost you know, in these worlds of workshops and uh, the next course, the next book, something that's going to help you uh, make a big change when in reality it's just intellectual discoveries that you're having. It's important to understand that inner work is powerful but it's not impervious to problems and limitations. Once you've loosened many of the inner knots and contractions within you, aka you're capable of functioning in a relatively healthy and balanced way, uh, you're more capable of making inner work a living present moment or present movement practice that arises when necessary. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Like for example, uh, if you're feeling triggered in a moment, you can do mm. shadow work. Yeah. Or if you're feeling scared, you can comfort your inner child in that very moment. In this way, inner work, its ultimate purpose, mm. becomes to be a living practice uh, of introspection in the eternal now. Mm.